is a progesterone blood test helpful for you? Maybe. Hello my lovelies and welcome to this video in which we'll be talking about the 21 day progesterone test. Because in one of my earliest videos, I had a bit of a rant on this test and um, I thought I'd do a refill, which is a little bit more efficient, wink wink. Uh, and that points you towards some other resources to help you a step further. So as I said in one of those earliest videos, I had a rant on the 21 day progesterone test because I was so incredibly frustrated with how this test was used for so many of my female patients and kind of like a one size fits all and quite big conclusions were drawn from the results of those tests and I felt like this test was just used, uh, how do you say that sometimes, like willy nilly? <laughs> My British friends will know right here. And as I said, pretty big conclusions were drawn from that. Well, in my opinion, the test was used wrongly because if you test all women for, for progesterone on cycle day 21, that completely ignores the fact that some women might be ovulating early and some women might be ovulating late. And I think... This frustration is one of the reasons I went into this whole charting thing and this whole channel because I want to teach you as a woman to chart your cycle, figure out your own fertility pattern because if you have no clue what your cycle looks like, when you are ovulating, if you're ovulating and then you go and see a doctor that doesn't care about your personal pattern but just go like this is a textbook and uh, you ovulate on cycle day 14, so a 21 day progesterone test is completely appropriate. Well that really brings you nowhere unless you actually did ovulate on cycle day 14, which many of you don't. So this is the issue. If you ovulate earlier, then the 21 day progesterone test may tell you that your levels aren't high enough because they have already been dropping. Now, the earlier ovulation might not be a good situation anyway, but just that interpretation then is, oh, your progesterone levels aren't right, when that might in fact not be the case. So you may be supplemented with progesterone or a lot of fear is put into you because you think, oh, my progesterone isn't right, so I might miscarry or I might miscarry every time or I can't conceive at all or I can't hold on to a pregnancy when that is not the case. Then another thing is, if you ovulate later, then your progesterone levels may not be at the right level yet. And you have, again, the same issue. Now, if your ovulation timing is a little bit closer to that cycle day 14, then your day seven progesterone levels may be fine. But what you don't know is that maybe the next day, they plummeted. Or you may have ovulated earlier, but it took a very long time for you to get to that right level. Again, that says something about your progesterone production. So there is a time and a place for this test, but I really encourage you to chart your own cycle and know exactly what's going on for you and know when you have ovulated so that when you have a doctor that suggests that you take that test, that you actually do it seven days past ovulation. And as a quick reminder, having a positive ovulation test doesn't say that you have ovulated. And if you aren't sure what that means, <laughs> or you aren't charting yet, make sure to check out my free basics to fertility charting course. If you sign up now, you have immediate access to the lessons and you can get started right away. You can actually figure out at home if your progesterone levels are likely okay or likely not okay at all. You can use my chart annotation course because there is a module that is on low progesterone and it teaches you exactly all the signs and symptoms to look out for to see if progesterone levels are sufficient. And one of those signs is the length of your luteal phase. And I recently did a video on that, which I will link in the cards up here. Now, another tool that you can use at home that I really love is the proof test. With this, you can check if your progesterone um, has crossed a certain threshold in the second half of your cycle. I love this product because it gives you more information at home without needing a blood test right away. And then if you still think it's necessary for you to have the blood test run, you know when to get it exactly seven days past your ovulation and not textbook ovulation. If you want to learn which fertility blood tests you can have run to screen your fertility and which days to get them, or if you wanna know what I thought of the proof test and how you can use that at home, 
click on one of the videos on your screen right now. And in the meantime, see you in the next video. Bye.